I swear it was Judgment Day. <laughs> you see that uh, Dave Chappelle shit? Oh, yeah. Shit was great. Uh, hilarious, bro. I watched it two times. Me too. I'm about to watch it three. I don't just blame you, bro. It just, every time I watch it, it's like some new funny shit I didn't see. Through the alphabet people part had me cracking bro, up. That's what I'm going ne- to so call him all the time now. Alphabet people. And it's genius because he actually never said who he was talking about, if you think about it. He left that up to you to interpret. Of course, you know who he's talking about. Yeah. But it's like. Them L's, them G's, them T's. and Everybody B's. hates the T's. <laughs> Bro. Like, Damn, that's fucked up. That's a, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> that's a whole other. <laughs> Talk about giving our opinions. I don't know if we want to crack that one open. But no, back. I mean, since we're on the subject, did you see the Blake Griffin thing? Uh-uh. So, I mean, so, there was a roast for someone, but Blake Griffin was on the panel. And Caitlyn Jenner was on the panel too, mm. so he like took a dig at Caitlyn Jenner. He was like, you know, on behalf of you know half the NBA players and half of the rappers, you know, we want to thank you for making five beautiful daughters with daddy issues. <laughs> so it was just hella funny yeah. because it was like I don't know, it was Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, with mommy issues, daddy with they issues. With they, That's yeah, what get it right, bro. Yeah, get your pronouns correct. Um, now that was a hella funny. Yeah, we watched it on the way up to uh, Oregon the second time, mm. so my girlfriend could watch it. She was cracking up. She usually doesn't laugh like that at some shit like comedians and stuff. We saw Chris D'Elia uh, recently too. You went to the show, right? Yeah. How that was, was that? That was hella funny. There was like one joke that wasn't very. It was like a, a, a like a a fart joke, mm. which was kind of childish. But everything else was hilarious. I was cracking up. Who's your favorite comedian? I would say Chris D'Elia, honestly. So really? that, that Theo Vaughn guy I showed you that one time too, who kind of looks like a hillbilly and just roasts people all day. He's hella funny. But gotcha. Dave Chappelle's like a for sure. A, I think Cat. I think I like Cat. Cat Williams. I like Cat just because it's like stupid funny. I like stupid yeah. funny shit. Like, well, speaking of comedians, Kevin Hart got in a car accident, bro. I saw that. That's nuts. I wonder how bad it was. Did you see the car? No, bro. That thing. Let me see if I can turn this TV on and show you. That thing, bro, oh, my God. It, it was like an old-school Cadillac, and the whole top looked like it was just, like, squashed down. Damn. Fucked up. So he for sure could have died. Oh, yeah. Easily. That would have been, like, the biggest Illuminati conspiracy ever. <laughs> Kevin Hart. He passed up on dies the in a, So they're right. trying to kill him. Man. He talked about that shit, too. What do you mean? Dave oh, Chappelle. That, 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 well, no, how you can do something, right? Yeah. And then it comes back to haunt you. That's what I'm saying. No one in our generation is going to be able to do any celebrity shit or po- political shit without any scandals. I'm telling you. It's always going to come up. You hear that over there? <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, I feel like it's gonna, time's going to fly by, though, and it's not even going to be a thing. It's always going to be a thing. It's getting worse. They're going to be like, oh, you know how every kid wears a fucking damn. Every kid uses an iPad now. There's gonna be videos of little kids and their babies saying cuss words and shit. It's gonna come out and it's gonna ruin their lives when they get older. See, he was raised to be a bad child. Bro, his car was fucked up. Damn. They got Doctor Phil on here, bro. Bro, I've been addicted to Doctor Phil lately. I'm not gonna lie. There's just like so. A whole you know epi- why I hate Doctor Phil? Sorry to cut you off. Cause he's white. Huh? That's a close second. Okay, now I, that's not why. Because he created the catch me outside. Oh, uh, that's fair enough. Fuck her. No, actually, I don't know. She's cool, I guess. Nah, she. Uh, she's a little ratchet. Oh yeah, a little bit trash. She's trash. That's what she's trashy. Nah, but the fucking the whole show is like thirty minutes long. But if you go on YouTube, you can watch like three minute clips. Bro, it's gold. He goes of his off. shows. Yeah, he goes off on people a lot of the time. It's hella funny. But did you see his family is actually fucked up too? Probably. He's trying to be a doctor to other people, and his family's fucked up. He got put on by Oprah. Did he? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's still how the people on the show be like, "You were only made because of Oprah." So I looked up why they say that, and I guess he was put on by Oprah. 
What was he doing for Oprah? I guess it was like one of those little segments. It's like if we had a doctor come on, oh, hey, it's time for Dr. Phil's segment, oh, and he okay. comes in. But then he just like took it and ran with it. They're coming out with a uh, new Jerry Springer. Are they? Yeah. What? I'm excited for that. They should have like a Jerry Springer ultimate gladiator type of thing where instead of like doing lie detector tests, they'd like have you fight out for like, so the father would be fighting to not have the <laughs> child. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Like two dads like have to fight for who takes care of the kid. What do you think about that? Uh, women having the kid if the guy doesn't want to have it. What do you mean? Like say you get a chick pregnant. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to have the kid, but she does. Oh, it's like she. So you want to have an abortion essentially, but she doesn't want to get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Because we were just talking about that. Like, if you like have, like, let's say worst case scenario, if unplanned pregnancy can like screw your life up, big time. Like, if, yeah. I won't go too deep into it, but like, I don't think I'm gonna have a kid until we're ready for a kid. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. I give myself 10 more years. You think? How Maybe old are you going to be? You're going to be 35 now? Right, that's fine with me. Bro, we're going to be able to live forever in a couple years. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You could be an old ass. Saying that, bro. You could be an old daddy. Because, <laughs> like, all right, this is how I look at it. I'm 25 now. 10 years, I'll be 35. Uh-huh. Okay? Once I'm 35, my kid will be what? 20, and I'll be 55. It's all good. 20, you could be 25, and you'll be 55. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we can still kick it. We can. St- I'll still be functional. But, but then you'll kind of be at that old head stage because there's such a long gap. You know what I mean? No, but we're going to be the first generation that aren't old heads. I that feel makes like, sense. I feel like they've been saying that every generation too, bro. <laughs> no, we, it's like, we ain't going to be like them. We ain't going to be like them. The road. We're not hating on their music. I don't Travis, know, bro. But. <laughs> yeah, I might. Bro, you kidding me? We both, you should listen to some of my old music. It should be hella. Nah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I want to have a kid when I'm like... 30 30 right but back the to the Dave Chappelle special he was like you know if you want to have the kid and the guy doesn't you know it's your body it's your choice so you should have the kid but don't expect the guy to do anything about it yeah he's like it's that my was money <laughs> my money my choice <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> that shit was hella funny bro he was hella people were upset by that special too oh big time I'm sure they were yeah yeah I what, what were people upset about well, like, for sure. Well, the the alphabet people for sure got mad. Gotcha. Okay. Which, uh, <laughs> bruh, I can't wait till this whole, I can't wait till this whole stupid thing is just blown <laughs> over. You know what I mean? It'll never be blown over. These are <laughs> these are people's problems, Travis. I always say, bro, this yeah, self made problems. Send these are the, Doctor Phil. This is something bro. they're dealing with. Okay, <laughs> you have to be sympathetic, <laughs> bro. When he was making fun of the T's, that's how I'm never gonna say like the full names of these people. Again. Just it's gonna like, be L's. Every, everybody hates the T. <laughs> like the T's are in the back yes, complaining about going to the bathroom. Can somebody roll down a window. Shut up. He's like. <gasps> <laughs> that shit had me dying. Like, there's no bathroom for you for four fucking states. Yeah. Oh, that was shit. funny. He was going off too. He was like, he was like, yeah, like I, I don't blame him. I can't stop making fun of him. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, what he say? He's like, I'm not a pedophile, but if I was, <laughs> I was like, oh my. What God. a way to start a <laughs> sentence, dude. He doesn't give a shit. See, that's why I, I, I miss comedians like that because everyone's like scared now to, to like, say shit. Yeah, because you could get done for did you hear about the chick that said something about xxx Mm-mm. so she was like she said something like uber and lyft should be using xxx's situation as like promotion or some shit like that what because he was driving his own car when he got killed so if he was driving someone else's car it wouldn't happen like that that sounds like the worst marketing de- <laughs> the the joke was kind of fucked up but it was, you know, it was a joke. How this is what that? comedians do. That doesn't even, that's not even that funny, though. You got to pull up the video since you got, we got access to do this. Type in XX Tentacion comedy that's joke so going sure. wrong. Nah, I'll pull it up afterwards. We'll, we'll make it happen. But yeah, she got, like, she had to, like, make her page private and shit because people it's on, were, on YouTube? It's on YouTube, yeah. What's it called? XXX? Just go comedy joke about XXX Tentacion. That's, I always be searching shit like that. Comedy, joke, woman, hair. Just like hella <laughs> generic ass shit. Microphone. 
exactly. Google's smart enough. Google knows what we're, Google knows what fucking video I'm talking about. I had my uncle once whispering in my ear because he's like, they're listening. <laughs> I, I was like, what? How old is your uncle, bro? No, he's like 36. Uh, <laughs> no, I think we were hella high. Like, we smoked we smoked a lot of weed. And we were, like, talking about, like, we were watching 13. No, no, we were watching, uh, what were we watching? Stranger Things. Uh-huh. And if you watched, I don't know, there's, like, a different, like, like, L is able to go into... Her, like she can close her eyes, whatever. The upside down world. The upside down world. That's what fuck they call it. My bad. I've never even seen it. Totally butchering the shit, but that's what it's called. And I was like, damn, I could hella see this shit being real. Like they just don't want us to know about it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, they do. Like it is real. (laughs) He's like, the phones are listening to us. Like I don't want to say it out loud. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Bro, I thought I thought for some reason I was picturing your uncle being hella old and like hella out of context, just out of nowhere, just be like, they're listening to us. <laughs> no, no, no. He's a young he's a young uncle. He's thirty six. Bro, that's like one time I was in San Luis Obispo doing some shady business and uh one of these guys I was messing with was before we would have meetings, he would make us no. put uh put our phones, laptops, anything with microphones outside the door and turn them off. Oh shit. Yeah. I was like, damn, this man. And then it's the last time I hung out with him. But <laughs> <laughs> was he kind of crazy? Oh yeah, bro. Let's see if this. We're not gonna be able to hear it. Uh, we might be able to. I just probably don't have it set up correctly. USB speaker. He's a rapper who uh, was murdered. He's dead now. Um, he was he was shot. He was on his way to buy a car with fifty thousand dollars in cash, and somebody shot him and took the money, which is very tragic. But I think also it would be a very good Venmo commercial. Oh, Venmo. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought when I heard that. Like I don't have Venmo. I should get Venmo. That's pretty funny. Because he was robbed because the motherfucker saw him pulling out hella cash. Oh, well, yeah, bro. Knowing people nowadays, too, he was probably on Instagram Live. Like, I'm pulling out 50000 right now. Here's my location. Man. Come holla at me. I love you. Fucking RIP, but come on, man. Did you like his music? I never really got into it until uh, he passed away and I heard a couple songs. And I don't know. It's just not... It's one, yeah, it's one of those styles where it's like I can only listen to it because I feel like a lot of it was like kind of like sad music, mm-hmm. and like I don't if I'm happy I'm not gonna be listening to sad music. Makes sense. And if I'm sad, I want to listen to sad music, but I don't want to listen to sad music because it'll only make me more sad. You know what I mean? Positive vibes only. Facts, bro. I ain't trying to fucking mope and shit, bro. I'm trying to be happy, man. I'm trying to be happy. Um, but yeah, R A P X. Someone the other day, uh, I, I, before I say this, he his music probably did have a very big impact on a lot of people. But the other day, someone, uh, I was talking to, to them about Nipsey, and they noticed a poster I had on the wall. They're like, oh, like, was you like Nipsey? I was like, yeah, man, like, what my favorite artist for like 10 years, like, blah, 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 like, just kind of telling them about it. And then, like, oh, you must have been sad when he passed away. I was like, yeah, like, I actually, like, cried. Like, mm-hmm. the two two days after, like, I was, I was like, heartbroken. And, uh one of these chicks is like yeah you must have felt the same way when x died uh, or like <laughs> like you must have felt the way i felt when x died i know how it feels and like it took so much for me to like not turn around and be like what who are you and then like kick her out of my studio yeah but i mean I, you want to respect people's feelings yeah i know but like this is just like certain things you know what i mean like i'm mourning and you're talking about when you were mourning i don't want to hear that shit yeah exactly it's like when people complain mm mm-hmm. It's like, bro, I got my own fucking problems going on. Why the fuck are you complaining to me? Facts. Not to be like a dick, but it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't want to fucking hear your problems. Yeah. I'm sorry. For real. Well, and that's the thing, too, is like, I feel like a lot of the times when people like complain to me, I'll like give them advice. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, well, if you're going to sit here and fucking bitch my ear off, like I might as well like try to give you some help. And then they don't want to hear it. It's like, oh, so you just want to sit here and pour this negative energy all over my situation and then just walk away. Like, yeah. what, what's the point of that? I feel like people know what they should do about their situations. They just don't 
They want to tell. I don't even think people want you to tell them what to do. What do you like, mean? I mean, people want. I don't even think people want advice. Oh no, they for sure. They for sure don't. <laughs> that's my fault for sure. But <laughs> that's the last thing people want when they're complaining about something. They just want to complain. And you're right. People do know what they should do. It's like it's honestly, every time you have a problem, it's pretty obvious what you need to do. But it's just a lot of work. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to sit there and be like, oh, I'm the victim. The world is hard. It's like, man, you can accomplish most of anything and solve most of anything with just putting hard work behind something and actually taking the time to think about it and like go through scenarios and figure out how to. And then because if you have a problem, I guarantee you other people in the world have that same problem. Yeah. So so many that I guarantee there's either an article online about that same exact problem. Mm -hmm. There's a book written about it. There's a YouTube video about there's it. There's a hotline number that you can call. Exactly. So it's like there's solutions out there, but we're in a generation of like spoon fed snowflakes and alphabet people getting pissed off. And <laughs> like fucking Anthony Bourdain. Oh, yeah. I fucking hate that motherfucker. What? I hate him. The dude who killed himself? I hate him. <laughs> That's kind of foul, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker had the best job ever. He's going around eating food and talking to great people, living uh -huh. a great life. Dave Chappelle talked about it again on the on the show. I'm yeah. gonna keep plugging it because you have to watch that shit. <laughs> but it's like you have the best job ever. Your life is like dope, mm -hmm. dude. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Uh, yeah, no. I and mean, of course, it's deeper than the on yeah. the surface, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just outside looking in, but yeah. it's just like. Bruh. Well, I wonder why. Did I do you know anything about it? I'm curious on why he. I know he hung himself in a lux luxury hotel. Yeah, that's all I know. I know his the chick he was dating hooked up with someone that's super young, mm -hmm. and like she got blackmailed in the Me Too shit. Oh wow! And I know they paid him off to stay silent. Oh wow! So I don't know if that was like anything to do with it, but I know that was a part of. He was involved in that situation. Damn. That'll mess your life up real quick. It's like if you're like, if everything is going great, you got a happy family, and then all of a sudden, like, from a guy's perspective, you find out your, I guess nowadays, your significant other like, is like cheating on you. That'll fuck your whole situation up real yeah. quick. I think I like myself too much to kill myself. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I wake up and I'll be like, damn, like, you are one good looking dude. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just. I would hate to harm myself. Like I couldn't see myself ever doing that. You know what I mean? I've been mad and sad yeah. before, but it's like, fuck, Gerald, you should kill yourself. <laughs> no, I never. No. What? It's, it's hella selfish to do if you think about it too, because like there's hella people. Like what? If you kid yourself, who the fuck am I gonna do a podcast with, asshole? Right. You know exactly. I mean? I'd be at your fucking funeral. Like <laughs> this motherfucker left me hanging. <laughs> he was supposed to be there Saturday yeah. morning. Fuck you, kicking your casket and shit. <laughs> You piece of shit. <laughs> and then they start shooting in the church and hell yeah, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> that motherfucker owed me money. Hella people just up there. It's not even. <laughs> he didn't show up to our date on Saturday. Yeah. Wait a second. He was dating you. He was. He was <laughs> right. said he was dating me. And then hella fights. Your funeral is just hella ratchet. Oh, man. I actually want my funeral to be a party. Like, I want there to be a DJ. I want it to be lit. Like I want motherfuckers to be dancing, drinks, open <laughs> bar. You feel me? That'd I want everybody dope. to sign my casket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, Rob, we'll see you up there, bro. Like, <laughs> That'd be hella funny. I don't want to talk about this actually, bro. I want to record. But you know what I'm saying? I want to record a video before I die where it's like me talking to people after I die. Imagine like some it. Black Mirror shit. <laughs> yeah, like just just to fuck with people, like put them on a super long like hunt you know what i mean where it's like if you're if you're listening to this message it means i'm already dead <laughs> look, go go to my bedroom and look underneath the bed underneath the carpet and like have all this like fake information about who killed me and it's like not even real and for like years people are like going down this huge rabbit hole that i created just to fuck with them did you see did you see you watch the office yeah you see what michael scott did that uh-uh he made, he made like a self-tape for his future kid Oh, it's, yeah. just, it's hella funny. Like, you just got to watch <laughs> that Dude, part the of the video. The Office is hilarious, man. Oh, it's the I think my favorite TV show ever. Yeah. Oh yeah. I could. I, that's one of the shows like I can watch a thousand times and it's still because every episode is such like a variety. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Someone was telling funny. me it's like that for them with the with Friends. I can't get into. I it. was like, that's white people funny. <laughs> right? That's a good way to put it. 
That's a real good. I've I've never gotten into Friends, but I know how the people who are like, "Oh, Friends is the best show ever." I'm like, I can't relate to that at all. Like, yeah, I don't know. what? It's not my thing. But yeah. uh, yeah, they were like, "Friends is like that." I was like, "Nah, that's white people funny." <laughs> I like the office is funny for everybody because yeah. it's like because it got Stanley. we all everybody has stand. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, <laughs> who's the Daryl, bro? <laughs> we were talking about that at my, uh, hey, the Kelly. job I recently left. Yeah, we were talking about it. Uh, they're like, oh, who would Gerald be at in the office? And they're like Stanley. And I'm like, I'm not Stanley. I'm Daryl. People forget about Daryl. The hell, you say you Stanley? I ain't Stanley. <laughs> I'm like, have you looked at me? <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's how the funny, I ain't bro. Actually, I have been gaining some weight. Uh-oh. So You're shit. fulfilling the prophecy, bro. It might be Stanley. Stanley likes wine. <laughs> I like wine. I, I can deal with that. Actually. Just being slow, relaxing all day. Trying to pop, lock, and drop this yeah, one. I got you. It's getting interesting. Pop. Glass of break this. They need to put a little bottle open on the side. I know, right? What yeah, else man. has been going on I in see the world? It. I saw It. We were talking about that a little bit beforehand. There's some funny ass parts in that movie, but I think they uh, they kind of dropped the ball. Cause uh, going from kid actors, for some reason I feel like kid actors, it kind of taps into like an emotional side of your childhood, uh-huh. so it's a lot easier to relate to some things. Like shit you used to be scared of. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then like with the adults now, they're like they were kind of acting like kids, and it's kind of like I don't want to have any spoilers, but like the ending was kind of stupid in terms of how they went about it. Cause I could picture like kids doing it, but from the adult side. It just didn't make sense. Hmm. I, I want to see a, a, a cut of the movie where it's only Pennywise scenes. That'd be tight. Oh, really? Yeah. I love monster movies and shit like that. Really? Like, not necessarily like serial killer shit. Like, I don't fuck with the real stuff. But uh-huh. like cool, weird things like it and like, uh, I can't even think of it. <laughs> but monster <laughs> movies. Movie, and, like yeah, yeah. Jason and. Yeah, with the un- unbelievable shit that's just kind of like, whoa, like, yeah. damn, that motherfucker just ripped his head off with his bare hands. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, in- impossible shit, but. I like real life shit. You look like you like real life yeah, shit, Yeah, I like bro. that. I like that. You look like you. Real, raw, like. You'd be sitting in your house watching some fucking. First 48 type yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, wow. Like, he killed his whole family. Right. I like, I don't know why. It's just like, what makes people do shit like this? Like, know, people are fucking insane. Facts. Like, last night I left my girl's house pretty late, and I was taking BART, and it was the last BART train to leave the city. And motherfuckers are just weird. Like, <laughs> there's just weird people in the world, like, that are just, I, I won't say, okay, not weird, different. Mm. The way they look, the way they dress, the way they communicate with other people, it's like, they're just not in touch with, like, reality. Yeah, or well, they're in a different reality. Tell, I just saw down a fucking fight on BART the other day. Again. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. It's like every time I'm on there, there's something, bro. <laughs> like, I'm just recording people. Like, fuck it. I'm just going to record now. I'm one of them motherfuckers. Fuck it. No, no, I saw you. You, like, literally had it up. And I saw, like, other people looking at you. Like, this motherfucker has no filter. He's just in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm done having a filter, bro. If somebody's going to piss on the BART or oh, yeah. sh- take a shit on BART or fucking steal somebody's iphone just get in there real close i'm recording everything bro. so why are you shitting on bart like right in their face asking them questions <laughs> i should have yeah interview them while this they're chick doing last it. night where i'm at boba guys you know what boba is yeah i fucking hate that shit by the way it's hella weird i don't want to if i'm drinking something i don't want little squishy things in it me neither bro <laughs> i don't like, there's not a lot of things i don't like in the world but that's one of them <laughs> that and pellegrino mm. uh but, yeah, this chick doesn't want to kill, uh, I think it was, like, a roach. It's something that couldn't fly. Mm-hmm. But it's like a bug. And she didn't want to kill it. Right? Which is, I'm like, oh, you must believe in karma. Yeah. Like, you, don't want, you don't want a bug to come kill you, huh? That's, that's what you're <laughs> <laughs> A bug but, come squash her. But I was just like, at least pick it up. She's like, no, because I could damage it even more than it's already oh, damaged. Oh, shut up. So I'm like, oh, you are really one of those people. That shit's, yeah, that, that's not different. That's weird. Because I like, if there's like a bee, <laughs> if there's a bee in a room or like something that's like easy to like get out of the room, like a f- something that's flying, mm-hmm. I have no problem with kind of like coaxing it out of the door and like getting it out of there. Because a lot easier to like push it, kind of get it out instead of fucking throwing shit all around the room. But yeah. if there's like a bug on the ground, man, I'll squash it real quick. I actually like uh, catching shit like that and putting it in a spider web. You do like them murder mysteries, huh? Bro, yeah. I like shit. I like. There's an Instagram called Nature Is Metal. 
That's called raw. This metal. You just nature is metal. I've been thinking about literally making another Instagram and just reposting all their videos <laughs> because, bro, it's some real life shit. Like a fucking elephant will have a baby, mm-hmm. and then the lions will just come get that motherfucker. I bet, bro. Or like, you know what I mean? Hyenas will come. Yeah. Like, it's just fucked up shit, but it's nature. It's like it's real <laughs> life, bro. Like raw, uncut. Bro, I could hella just picture you like in your house, hella bored, TV off, just sitting there, and you see a bug, and like you for like thirty minutes, you're trying to catch it, and you finally do. <laughs> then you find a spider web, and you're like sitting there, hella concentrating, putting it in. I had a fat ass spider in my backyard. Really? No, not my backyard, my patio. Fucking like a like big as a quarter, like mm-hmm. a fat motherfucker. And I didn't kill him. I was like, I'm gonna let you chill, bro. And I would literally, whenever I catch a fly or anything, or just kill something in my house, drop that motherfucker into the spider web. <laughs> Let the spider have some dinner. Yeah, you're like, we cool, right? We got respect. We you know cool, I mean? They right? got eight eyes, right? Or some shit like that. They can see me. <laughs> they know. They, they know. know. They know what's going yeah, on. I tell you what, I haven't seen him inside yet. I'm good. It's a better angle. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well, but, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I used to catch... Uh, catch bees and flies and stuff like that mm-hmm. uh we used to have like a little uh, cabin not necessarily it was like a trailer up by a lake and uh i would catch bugs when i was bored and put them in the freezer so i'd like catch a bee put it in the freezer right Think trap so it can't get around shit and then it kind of like freezes it it like legitimately freezes it but when it thaws out it's still alive wait so when you put it in the freezer it freezes what you put in <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, it freezes it alive, so it doesn't die. Like, cause if if you if you were to get frozen, right? If you were to get frozen, right, you would die. You wouldn't be able to thaw in like a caveman. You know what I mean? They don't yeah. find caveman in ice, and you unthaw him, he's still alive. Yeah. But like bugs, when you freeze them, you can unfreeze them, and they're still alive. Really? Yeah. Like so fish. I don't. I've I've done it with bugs. Yeah. <laughs> don't put your fish in the freezer, please. No, you can, you can do that with fish. <laughs> can you? Yeah, like. <laughs> fish are like frozen right when when the lake freezes over or whatever well the water doesn't freeze if they ever get if they're stuck in the ice and it's frozen and the fish are in there and that shit dries out sometimes the fish will still be alive where are you finding this information i've seen it you've seen this I've you've seen been it. chilling by a lake no i've seen <laughs> it on, on youtube <laughs> i don't know bro tell it youtube it okay fine well, well, but anyways we uh we would catch these bees and put them in the freezer and then while they were frozen uh we would take like a little string like some floss and like tie it around like the bee's waist oh shit and then so when it unthawed it would be like a little bee on a leash <laughs> i've seen that i've seen someone do that with a fly <laughs> yeah dude it works it works bro dude, i'm telling you that, i'm actually gonna do that bro you i'm gonna come over to your house one time you're gonna have, have hella, hella bees, bees. like <laughs> I have my own honey and shit. <laughs> this is Jeremy. This is George. Hella fucking funny. It works though. Hold on, let's see. YouTube. What? What would it be? Uh, frozen fish still alive. Frozen fish still alive. Oh, look at that! It popped up. Your body wouldn't die if you freeze though. Like you wouldn't die right away, right? Well, I don't think you would die right away, but I think if you were frozen for like an Years. hour. Cause once your body temperature like goes f- to below like to freezing <laughs> level, like your doesn't your blood freeze? You know, there's people that are doing that, right? That are like freezing their bodies. Well, that's not like for that. like a study. So if they do figure out something to make them come back alive, oh yeah, they have their body available. Yeah, I thought you meant like those uh the things like the cryo chamber things where the people go in and like it's just your lower body and it just makes you really cold to like burn fat. Mm. And like heal your muscles or whatever. Yeah, I hate talking about the cry- chirotherapy shit right now because there's a Raiders player. And he, I ain't even gonna call him a Raiders player. There's a guy that like wanted to be on the team, mm-hmm. but didn't make it. And he did that shit and he burned his feet. Oh, and he can't play. Uh, he can play. He's just not on our team anymore. We don't speak about him. They're frozen quickly. Okay. Oh, it's in China, of course. They be doing some interesting shit out there. Yeah, bro. That's like you. It's like if you had like thirty of you when you're bored catching bugs and feeding it to spiders. That's what they're doing out there. But they just moved up from spiders and flies and shit. Look at that. The fish come back to life. Ugly motherfucker. I know he's all. Oh. Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> but anyways, that's how that, that's funny. I was actually just in Hawaii, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm out there, dude, hella deep. Like I love fucking swimming in the ocean. Uh huh. <laughs> right, and I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm so far out right now. Like, I would say damn near like a hundred plus feet away oh from my God. from the sand. Reckless, snoring, snorkeling by myself, uh-huh. just out there, bro. Like next to the boats and shit. And it's just so beautiful down there. There's hella fucking fish and shit. Yeah. So we we I did that. I come back and uh, we go get some food. I'm talking to the Uber driver. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, yeah. So are there a lot of sharks out here? Like he's like, yeah. Someone just got bit the other day. And I was like, oh, like is he okay? I'm like no, he died. Oh. I was like, well, what the fuck happened? He's like, yeah, he was swimming like 60 yards out, and then you know a shark just came and got him. Nah. I was like, shit. Like, it just made me hella scared because I'm out there by myself. Oh, yeah. Like, shit. I mean, you don't hear about black people getting bit a lot. I don't think I ever have. So Eating by sharks? Eating by sharks. I actually don't think they like dark meat. So I think I'm good. Well, I feel like this might sound kind of racist, but black people don't like water too much. That's, that's wrong stereotype, man. It's not true. Is it not true? Not true. Because I always hear people, it's like, I don't fuck with the ocean. I always hear that a lot. There is nowhere to swim. Oh, in Africa. No. There's <laughs> places. <laughs> I think it's two things. I think it's two things. I think it's two things. I think when we were brought over here on ships, uh-huh. there's something in our genes, somewhere in our DNA, that saw so many people drown and get thrown oh, overboard shit. Okay. that it makes us not want to do that. Mm-hmm. That's just my theory on it. And then two. So it's not a wrong stereotype then. No, no, no. A lot of I know a lot of black people that don't like to swim or yeah. don't can't swim. Um, my oh, last name is Seals, though, bro. You know this. That's why you got there. Right? I'm getting you know, in. So I'm a professional snorkeler. <laughs> I'm trying to get. I don't know how you get snorkeling for snorkeling, <laughs> but I'm pretty. Think, I'm pretty raw. I, think you I don't need flippers. You know, I'm <laughs> out there. You out there? I've touched turtles and shit. Oh wow! You know, no You're big deal. <laughs> But it's crazy how deep the water is, bro. Like, yeah. I try to go down and touch the bottom, and, like, my ear's about to pop oh, and shit. Oh, no, bro. You get the bands doing that. It's crazy. Do you know what the bands are? Uh, when you like, come, when you, no, it's when you come up too fast. Oh, yeah, and you, like, start hallucinating. Yeah, well, like, your lungs can explode. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, so I was, like, scuba certified for a hell of a long time. I technically still am. I need to get recertified, but. You got your patty? Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah, I love it. But uh, if you go down past, like, 40 feet, mm-hmm. and then if you come up too fast, like, your body can't adjust to the pressure, and, like, it'll, it could kill you. So, what's the coolest shit you've ever seen under there? Uh, some giant, I, I saw some lobsters and some eels fighting over a dead fish one time, which was pretty cool. Oh, shit. Uh, a giant sea bash, which w- was, like, probably, like, 10 feet, and, like, 10 feet long, and, like, this motherfucker was fat. So, it was, like, shit. way bigger than me. I haven't seen a shark before. Um, I saw some dope shit, though. I don't, I, the one thing I don't think I'll ever do is a uh, nighttime scuba dive. No thanks. This is too dark. Well, yeah. I mean, you can have lights and shit, mm-hmm. but like the sketchy thing about like scuba diving in general is like you can only see like twenty feet out, mm-hmm. but you know that everything else down there can see way further out. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And like sharks and shit, like it wouldn't take long. And well, I think underwater you're safer from sharks than you are on top of the water. Oh really? Yeah, because if you're like if you're snorkeling, so imagine this, right? If you're underneath the water and you're looking up and then I see you and like you see me swimming on top of the water and the sun's on above you, the light's coming down. So it kind of makes you just look like a black figure. There's no detail. Uh, like I can't seal. see. Yeah. Well, so I'm technically like a, am a see? Damn. See, bro? You got to watch out. There's too many things going against me in this situation. But no, 100%, 100% though, because then a bo- if you add a boogie board to the equation too, then it looks like you're just a, a, a big fish mm. swimming on top of the water. And a shark will see that and be like, oh, fuck yeah. And just goes... But if you're, like, Man. down there in their territory, they have, like, enough time to, like, check you out. You're cool. I was reading something that said deer kill more people than sharks. Really? So that's when I wasn't scared. Well, I guess because you hit them with your car and shit or what? Yeah, and then someone told me that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fuck, you had to just throw a wrench in my whole little thought process. Yeah. Because <laughs> that shit has to be included. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because you see a deer, thinking, like, oh, oh. I was just... thinking deer attacks. I was like, that shit happens? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Like you can't get too close. They mad because they're getting hunted all the time. I see motherfuckers on Instagram feeding deer all the time. That's that one dude who, <laughs> that one dude, right? <laughs> He's like Stella. What's yeah, up, Stella? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> would you ever? Funny. Would you ever go hunting? Uh, <clears throat> we should do a hunting podcast. We should start. That's what I want to do for the podcast. I think that'd be dope. You know Is what? It, I think I would. Going. I think I would go hunting. 
Yeah. We should try it. I wouldn't do it in Africa. Well, okay, bro. I'm not talking about. You just gonna jump straight to Africa? That's not. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know I'm living lavish, man. That's you know like, I'm like hey, just... we should learn how to fly. I don't know if I would fly to the moon. It's like what, bro? I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I'm saying that's where you do the the real fucking hunting at, right? Kill a uh, lion bro, or some shit. I, bro. Come on, no. That's not. I wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't do no crazy shit like kill a giraffe or a lion or an elephant. I would shoot a deer for sure. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I when I, mo- I feel like. The woods or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I feel like when most Nigga, people Africa say Africa is the woods. <laughs> yeah, nah, <nuh-uh>, that's the. <laughs> so I, he talking about white people hunting, yeah. bro. When most people say hunting, you think of like oh, hunting like deers and maybe the most about, extreme is like a bear, but no one's like oh. I'm trying to shoot a rhino. Bruh, good luck. Have fun with that. That's like extreme hunting, bro. Exactly. That's like I'm jumping from PJFL straight to NFL, bro. That's, <laughs> that's 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 big time, bro. Nah, but I, I could. I wouldn't shoot no. I don't want to shoot no birds or anything. Like, yeah, that's that just whack. Yeah. <laughs> I want to shoot a deer though for yeah, sure. Uh, you want to catch a deer and feed it to a bear? That's what you want to do. I shoot a fox. <laughs> yeah, because feel me. I st- bro, this too innocent. That's like hunting a bunny rabbit. He's I'll shoot be. a bunny rabbit for sure. <laughs> I see. I, see. There's, I know there's a lot more of those motherfuckers out there. Yeah, you know it'd be dope. It's like I would hunt a bunny rabbit if I could use like a bow and arrow. That'd be tight. That I feel like that'd be a dope feeling. There's probably some people listening to this like, fuck these guys. How could they? That, that the chick who would wouldn't hurt the roach. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. She was an alphabet person, so I mean. <laughs> I'm oh for sure, bro. <laughs> for sure. Dude, that'd be that'd be hella They're fun though. Flag us for this. Just like going out into the woods, like drinking, eating hella good food, and just like taking some guns, yeah, some shooting some shit up, yeah, bro. Yeah, you really are white, huh? <laughs> 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 oh shit! But bro, that not nah, that be that be hella funny though. I'd be out there like hella precise shots, and you'd be out there with a <laughs> just fucking unloading on a deer. I would do it though. I'd be down. But we should start doing that with the podcast. Like we'll start doing like going out. And like just doing trips and then like vlogging the whole thing. Like uh-huh. as a squad, we'll go out and like go hunting, or like we'll do the barbershop thing we're talking about. Go wine tasting. Go wine tasting. But how will we be able to record our situation? I Maybe have a little portable microphone thing. We could just do it that way. Yeah, the the easiest way to do it would be to get some like wireless little things we clip on our shirts and that just do it like that. Down the road. Yeah, that'd be that'd be tight though. That'd be super tight. That'd be fun though. I'm down to yeah. do that. We go to Africa and hunt some rhinos. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you know how hard it would be to take down a rhino, bro? Let's go deep sea fishing. That's tight. I almost went deep sea fishing in Costa Rica when I was out there. Really? So close. But it was like going to be like 800 a pop Ooh. for a whole day. That's the crazy shit about traveling. Like, they know that we're Americans, mm-hmm. so they try to play us. Oh, that's no. That's normal price, bro. That's a, that's a discount. Oh, shit. That was a discount. We we knew some dude from Tennessee who we met out there. And, and he, he was like 800 bucks? Yeah. But like we were looking online. It's like usually like 1500 for a full day. Because you wake up at like 6, you get on a boat. You oh, you're dri- catching like marlins and shit. Yeah, you drive, you d- boat out like two hours into the uh, deep ocean, and you're out there until like the sun starts to come down, and then you head back. Shit. Yeah, we were so close because it would have been sick. But I've seen like videos of like someone catching like the big swordfish, and like when you're reeling it in, it's like jumping out of the water, and then like they were reeling it in, and it started jumping towards the boat, and it jumped out, and the sword went through the person's mouth, out the back of their neck and they died i think they survived oh because i mean you're not really hitting i mean you're hitting some vital shit you're hitting some vital shit in the neck but like nothing it's not like it's your brain you know what i mean you'd yeah. probably be paralyzed or something but uh, deep sea fishing would be fun though <clears throat> i like i'm i love the ocean i love it it's dope i've been looking to be a, a coast guard but you gotta work on the weekends so. you gotta don't you gotta do a lot <laughs> I would do. I wonder. That'd be a super interesting job. I wonder what like the craziest story for a coast guard is. I was reading the shit. They're like, you prospect for fucking foreign objects in the ocean, like submarines from different countries. Oh, that's you're tight. protecting our coastline. Oh, so you're that. talking about like shit that will actually never happen. You're talking like the navy type mm-hmm. shit, military coast guard or yeah, like I mean, there's hella shit you could do. Like you could test the water to make sure the water's healthy. You know, uh, fucking inspect. Big ass packages that get shipped overseas that come here. Like, you're just protecting our ports, pretty much. That's yeah. all Coast Guard really does. That's tight. Yeah. And you get guns and shit, um, though. Godzilla and shit. And megalodons. And you believe in, like, sea monsters and shit like that? I believe anything is possible, bro. You sound like, chi- you sound <laughs> like <laughs> chippers, bro. That. That's exactly why I said that. <laughs> uh, but, no, yeah, I, I believe there's some crazy shit out there. I mean, 95% of the ocean is un- undis- 
discovered yeah. or unexplored. So I think that's super intriguing. You know, we know more about space than we do about our own ocean. So, bro, you know what's a crazy video? If you want to check out a video about like the ocean and shit, if you go on uh, YouTube and type in something like "top ten noises heard underwater," hmm. that's creepy. Like they have like just unexplained recording noises that like echoed underwater, and they calculated it out and like, well, this noise had to have been created by something that was like. Oh, how this big it big, was. big, yeah, because it echoed through the water for this long, and it shit. had this. Bro, that'll freak you out. It's like some of the shit you look up, like, in the middle of the night when you're hella bored, and then you stay up all night, like, oh, my God. Huh, yeah, I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to put that I'm, in my notes. I'm going to do that tonight. I'm just going to get hella bored and get high and just watch. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hella fun. <laughs> it's the little things. I was watching a Blue Planet with my chick when we first started dating, mm-hmm. and she's like, I have to be high to watch this. I'm like, oh. I am high. <laughs> He's like, you're not high? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Dude, there's so much, so many weed dispensaries in Oregon. Oh, yeah. They're everywhere. Everywhere. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Like, they got way more than up here. Oh, yeah. Like, you go, like, there's, like, fucking three or four on, a like, a street. Mm-hmm. It's nuts. How'd you like it out there? It was cool. We weren't close to Portland. We were on, like, the, the coast. So, it was, like, super low-key, like, a weird little corky town. Uh-huh. Bruh, it was so. Wait, wait, where were you? What city? otter rock mm. it's like super low-key like they don't get tourists for sure like oh, okay yeah there was nothing touristy about it it was just like super interesting it like it looked like a town where like horror movies happen Shit. Where it's like so small that like a whole bunch of people could get killed and no one would even know about it it was freaky then it was like it was so strange there was like i saw oh. multiple people with maga hats on Oh, uh, okay. Not only, one of them not only had a MAGA hat, a red MAGA hat on, and he also had a blue MAGA shirt on. Damn. Yeah, I was like, you really repping it. I Supporting. Mean, for real. Our one-term president. For real. Oh. Ooh. What was that? That was me. But yeah, no, it was, it was, it was cool. It was super nice. It was relaxing. We had a super nice little spot. It had like a fireplace in it. It was tight. Airbnb? Nah, it was a, it was for a charity event we went to last year, and I fucking bid on a thing we won a honeymoon suite out there oh that's winning yeah it was super nice there was whales bro it was like we would on our balcony we could see hella whales just no. all the time yeah it was tight okay it was super tight you look like you guys are eating good out there too oh bro i got hella fat out there bro i need to start shedding weight again <laughs> we because it, it was tillamook tillamook you know the tillamook ice cream Mm-mm. it's like but you need to be more ice cream if you don't know what tillamook is bro just smack i know hogan dos Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. It's it. Yeah. Well, the Tillamook. Straw. Tillamook's a hella super creamy ice cream that's, like, super popular. And uh, the factory is, like, a couple hours out from where we stayed. Okay. So they had hella crazy flavors in all the stores. Dude, there's this place called Fred Myers. Have you ever heard of Fred Myers? Fred Myers, yeah. Bruh, that's the first time I've ever encountered a Fred what? Myers. It's like Walmart. Mac mixed. Dre, baby. He said, uh, what the fuck he said about Fred Myers? Oh, keep going. I'm going to think, think of the shit. But he but goes. He, yeah, okay. no, the, the <laughs> <laughs> bro, this shit crazy. Have you been to one before? Nuh-uh. bro, it's like it's like Walmart times twenty five. Really? It's like it's like if you took a Walmart, a tar. If, it's like no, it's like if you took a Walmart, a Safeway, a Target. Don't say Walmart and Target; they're the same thing. Okay, it's like if you there's took white a, people and then minorities go to one. That's the difference between Target and Walmart. Yeah, I guess. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, <laughs> it is, motherfucker. I'm telling you. So if it's like if you took a Walmart and a Safeway and uh, like a sporting goods store. And a Best Buy, and Whoa. just crammed it all together. It's huge. Shit, that's like everything Costco. It's like Costco if it wasn't wholesale. Hmm. Yeah. You know what's like that? Uh, in Japan, they have a hell of stores like that. Really? They're called uh, Big Camera. I think that's what they're called. Big Camera. Yeah, but literally, bro, they have every bro. fucking thing in these stores. Can so. we just talk about how horrible? This is gonna sound racist. How horrible. <laughs> you keep saying that. <laughs> How horrible Asian. Is it? We get it. Yeah, that's fine. We just need to get it. Something. Um, how horrible Asian cultures are at naming shit. Like, you'll call a store a big camera. Like, yeah. what? How lazy. Like, that is so. St- like, at least, like, Walmart and Target. It's, like, kind of like, oh, I can see why you would call it that. But, like, big camera. Come to big camera. It works, man. I apologize for my insensitiveness. <laughs> Hey, I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that would sound like Cam Cam. Yeah. I love everybody. It's like I don't have a reason to hate. 
you know, <laughs> maybe that's part of the reason is you feeding into the negative energy. I was like, God damn it, you're right. <laughs> well, you got to bring that positive shit around here. Do you believe the stereotype that uh, Asian people are bad drivers? Yep. Yeah. I believe a lot of stereotypes. I ain't going to lie. A lot of them are true. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a I think we've been forced into certain environments that have made these things true yeah yeah you know i mean well at the end of the day at the end of the day like a stereotype is just a a, a personality trait that a majority of a certain culture have yeah like you it's could, not every it, exactly not everyone fits in that category exactly but majority exactly like there's Damn. a lot of stereotypes about white people like the hunting like what Oh, yeah, y'all get cool shit. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get cool Dude, shit like the, being racist. Y'all get the dis- <laughs> we get cool shit like being racist. We get the cool like shit being like Jewish. enslaving people. Like being Jewish and having a lot of money. Well, Jewish is... Uh, would you consider Jewish or white, white people? people? Yeah, I guess. So. Hell fucking yeah. I consider okay, Italians well, okay. white people. You can't see. Now you're going to start pulling all these little tiny things Everybody that are dope. That's, like, what if, oh, black people have a stereotype of being good at sports. Black people have the stereotype. We have a stereotype of being good at everything. Oh, and what about the what about the the first one all. about all uh, big dicks? That's no, a, that's you know a, that's true. See, there you look. See? Yeah, come on, baby. You know, <laughs> you know, we got we got good ones and we got bad ones. Exactly. So it's a well, and that's like Asians. Like all Asian people are smart. smart. Yeah, most of them are. Yeah. You know what I, my Asian friends will say when I say you guys are bad drivers? They'll say, have you not seen Tokyo Drift? Oh, fuck I'm you. Like, damn, you know what? You got a point, bro. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> oh, that's hella funny. I, I, dude, after being to Thailand, you probably noticed this too. It's like you can see why they're bad drivers when they come over here. Oh, yeah, exactly. But you know what the crazy thing is? There's no road rage out there at all. That's true. Do you huh? see anyone being mad at each other? Nah. Everyone's in each other's way. You got to back up. You got to like, you know, like yeah. literally I saw someone hit, I saw a scooter hit a truck, put a dent in the car, right? Yeah. They get out, look at it, shake hands, get back on, drive off. Damn. It's like, what the fuck? That's like, crazy. They, just, they don't honk at each other. They don't have lights. There's mobbing. It's just mob, it's just, There's no lanes either. It's just all like everyone for themselves. Everyone's nice out there too. At least to me there, everyone's nice. You probably like, like a celebrity out there, bro. They probably Everyone's never looking seen at me black like, people. Who the fuck is that LeBron like, James? <laughs> <laughs> it's Obama. It's Obama. <laughs> That's hella funny. <laughs> Stereotypes are hella true, though. Yeah. There's a lot of them that are true. A lot of the bad ones aren't true. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mm-hmm. don't know. Yeah. There's a reason they're st- yeah. <laughs> It depends on where you are. Honestly, yeah. it depends on where you are. Your environment forces a lot on you. Yeah. Right? If you grew up in a situation where you have to steal all the time, you're going to be a thief. Yeah. Or if you're broke, you're going to be a thief because you have to steal. Exactly. You know, if you grow up somewhere where you're with all white people and they have a fucking certain type of thought process on other races, then you're going to think like everyone else because that's your environment. Yeah. Well, I think I think it's just a, the reason people are like, oh, the stereotypes aren't always true is because, like, they're not being specific enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if I wanted to say, like, that all – black people are good at sports right i would agree with you yeah but if i was a lot more specific i was like all black people who are raised up in a household where sports were put before a lot of things and yeah. like this and this and this and this and this and this it's like okay i agree with you mm-hmm. but it's a lot easier to be like oh all black people are good at sports mm-hmm. no you're right because you know black people that have uh you know come from a single mother household or some shit like that it's like that's the only way you feel like you can be successful for your family yeah, it's just like fucking go ham with it. Go and ham then, with sports, right? Yeah, then put on. Yeah, because people say uh, a lot of people or a lot of black people say this. And when it comes to sports, if you're gonna make it, you either have a dad that pushes you hella, or you grow up with a single mother. And th- that's just how it yeah, works. Like you don't sense. you don't have like both of your parents. They don't really push you that hard. It just is what it is. Like you know, you're good at sports, and that's just what it is. Yeah. There's no motivation, extra motivation to push you. Yeah. So you're just gonna be like everyone else. That makes sense. No yeah. external factors. Um, we're here to say, and I'm speaking for Rawd. He agrees with me 100. percent Stereotypes are true, and we will judge you based upon them. I don't judge anyone. <laughs> I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to say, uh, how do you feel about chicks that, uh, or would you date a chick that you have sex with on the first night? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe. Why? 
just because it's like it's hella it's too easy if i can get it i don't want it that's my, my motto if i can get it easily i don't want it gotcha because then that means any because like that means anyone can get it because mm-hmm. if you have a girl who's like not putting out for a long time and then she finally puts out for you you're like damn i'm special i worked for i this. fucking work for that i earned for that ain't nobody then you could go to your boys but like, hey guaranteed you ain't hit this one yeah you know what i mean but if like it's like she puts out on the first night you go to your boys like hey i was talking to you oh her oh yeah bro we all already fucking oh yeah uh-huh. <laughs> you're like damn so you think that like speaks to her qualities as a person i think so yeah i think so mm. have you ever tried to date a chick after like the first night you guys hooked up or anything I think so. I, I know I have, and it just Tatiana. Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah, always yeah. like a weird, not necessarily weird, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. not not the type you want to have around all the time. Uh, you ain't want to introduce her to the mother. Exactly. Yeah. Hell no. That makes sense. That's a whole other thing. It's even, that's like a thing. It's like uh, stereotypes about relationships, bro. Is, isn't it crazy? That like fifty percent or more. I'm gonna look at the exact number, but I think it's like fifty percent of all marriages ended a divorce. There's a good chance you're going to get a divorce. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Especially nowadays. My grandma shot my grandpa. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I don't you know. shot. Like shot with him, a gun. With a gun. In the torso. <laughs> right? And these motherfuckers were married forever until she passed away. They didn't even get a divorce after she shot him. <laughs> crazy. Wait, so why? Hold on. You need to get to the important part. Why did she shoot him in the torso? He was abusive. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I so mean? So like he was like a... Yeah, so she, like, my uncles, my great uncles got her a gun, and they're like, if he ever does anything to you again, you shoot him. And she shot him. But he didn't die. They still were together. What's she shooting with? I don't know. Probably like a bow and arrow or something dope, huh? He got, he got the he slugged up. He slugged, he slugged up. up. Bro, that buckshot shit, he, uh, All right. uh, yeah, Dave Chappelle was talking about. The one bird, shot, bird buck shot, shot yeah. two shot, bird shot. Yeah, he's like bird shot, buck shot, bird shot, buck shot, buck shot. And then he's like, the after that, the motherfucker's Jamaican. Yeah. Buck shot, buck shot, buck shot. Almost all, 50% of all marriages in the United States will end in divorce or separation. Damn. I estimate that 41. Okay, guess we're done with that article. Never mind. <laughs> My thing is, I don't know if. Hmm. I don't know if I'll. Get, I mean, I want to get married, but at the same time, it's like. I don't know if I want to drop a hundred K on one day. Yeah. Well, I think it's, you don't have to, you can like elope and just dip. See, I'm not trying to, if I'm gonna have a wedding, I'm having a party, bro. Yeah. I'm wearing white. I'm walking down the aisle. Yeah. I'm doing all the shit. Well, and that's the thing is like, if you, you have me? a wedding, you're missing my point. If well, you have a wedding. It ain't all about her. It's about me too. I I'm feel- wearing white to my wedding. <laughs> You feel me? It's my day, too. Well, that's the thing, though. I feel like if you get to that point, like, you're going to have enough money to be able to do that. Otherwise. Bro, I'm a, I'm t- I'm a bargain shopper, bro. <laughs> I'm a. Well, yeah, then you're going to get a 100K wedding for, like, 50K. This is why I buy everything on discount. You're going to have hella. The food's going to be hella takeout and shit. I go to the Nike outlet store. And shit. I wear Vans. What I got on today? I got on some Air Forces. Okay, so. But you know what I'm saying? It's like those are regular shoes. Like I don't. I'm a bargain shopper, bro. I'm not going to Gucci and spending some like couple hundred on a shirt. I don't do that. Well, then I'm you a don't, bargain shopper. Then you don't need to drop a hundred k on a wedding to have a good time. But that's now nah, that's different. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's different. If I'm having a wedding, you got to buy all these motherfuckers suits. You got to have all this food. You got to have an open bar. By the way, motherfuckers that are getting married, stop having a wedding if you don't have an open bar. Facts. I didn't. Why? Why are people even going to your wedding if you don't have an open bar? I go to when I want to be fucked I'm up. I'm trying to get drunk. You feel me? I'm trying to catch the little thing. I caught one before. <laughs> Did you? Was yeah. your girl there when you caught it? Nah, I didn't oh, have okay. a girlfriend at the time. Shit. Oh, you're like, thank God. Yeah, I'm and get then one. I took down the whole fucking bride <laughs> squad, boy. Nah, I'm playing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. You, caught, you really caught one? Yeah. That's crazy. It felt kind of stupid. I ain't going to lie. Also, everyone's was looking at you like clapping, yeah, like yeah, yeah, everyone's looking like, for your girlfriend. Like, yeah, oh, I, was, your- I was like, oh, I, was, <laughs> I came here for the bar. Wait, what's your idea on uh, like wedding crashing? I think it's hella fun. I wish I had. But more what's your like? To- what's your definition <laughs> on it? Like, what, wedding crashing is like showing up to a wedding that you don't know anyone. Like uh-huh. you show up to a wedding that you don't know anybody and you don't know anything about it. Gotcha. And you just show up and you kind of just you're just there and you. I was talking to this chick. She's like, oh, it's like, I thought that's when you go to a wedding and you fuck the bride or the groom. 
Whoa. I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Dude. You have sex with the people that are getting married? That's, That's fucked up. Nuts. <laughs> That's super fucked up. Can you imagine how guilty you would feel afterwards? Oh, my God. Oh, That's shit. horrible, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hella funny. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I always wanted to do some shit like that. I forgot who I was talking to, but I don't think wedding crashing would be that hard. I think I was talking to my girlfriend about it. I think it would because some weddings are, like, super, not private, but, like, there has to be this many people there. Well, yeah, and that's the thing, though. It's like once everyone's there. And, like, and the thing is, too, it's like you, if you if the bride comes up to you and they're like, oh, so I don't think we've met before. You're like, oh, yeah, like me and your husband were really good friends back in the day, blah, 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 blah. And then and when you go up to your husband. Well, no, and then when you see the husband, you're like, oh, yeah, me and your wife were super good friends back in the day. You just, like, redirect it to the next one. Oh, shit. And then later on down the line, like a week later, like, oh, yeah, I was talking to your friend Travis. You're like, oh, I thought, I thought you knew him. No, I don't know him. Wait, you don't know him? And they're like, oh, shit. And they have hella flashbacks of you, like, like, oh, someone's lying about this. Did you hook up with him back in? Yeah, yeah, oh, exactly. Shit. And then the marriage Drama. falls apart. Yeah. And then it adds to that 50% divorce rate. Exactly. We got to keep them numbers up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was reading something, too. They said, like, most people of this generation don't want to get married. I could see that. I could for sure see that. And it's like, damn. Yeah. yeah. I think if you find someone, though, that, like, you're super into and you're both super into each other, it's like almost a trophy to be like, yeah, we're fucking married we nowadays at least. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're mm-hmm. so solid with each other that we got married. But then there's those people out here that, who are just like, oh, let's get married. Oh, and it's like. Yeah. So I was in Mexico with my girl. We met another couple. And they met on Tinder. And they got married. He proposed to her within seven months of them dating. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and they got yeah. It's official. Like the the family's happy about it. They like each other. They're trying to have a kid now. How I'm old like, are they? <clears throat> they are like thirty. Oh, okay, so they're kind of like pushing that. So timer. I was like, maybe they're desperate right mm-hmm. now. Like they are. They're, they're like, oh, if this person's halfway decent, I'll just fucking settle. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Because <laughs> I couldn't imagine like, okay, you're on Tinder. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah. Like, it is what it is. It's 2019. That's how a lot of people meet these days. Facts. But seven months is a little early to be marrying a stranger. Yeah, that's aggressive. Very aggressive. I think in my mind, I just have this like weird kind of rule set in place where it has to be like two and a half or three years long, like in the making before yeah. I'm even like contemplating marrying within a couple months. And I'm the same way. But it's like, why do I want to put a rule on my life? Well, I think it's more of just like knowing the person, knowing the person and knowing your own situation in life. Like, yeah. I know that I'm not going to be completely financially set off and ready for something like that yeah. and ready to support a family until, like, three years from now. Like, I can easily support myself right now and, like, et cetera for the next couple of years. Yeah. But if I really want to get a nice house and pay for the more, you know what I mean, pay mortgage rates and all that bullshit, and it's like, I'm going to wait, like, until. Until you're ready. <laughs> exactly. Man. Kids is a different story. Kids having kids. Oh, yeah, bro. That's why I watch Dr. Phil, bro. I'm telling you, you need to catch up. <laughs> she scares you. Huh? Like, oh, I ain't doing that. Woo! Yeah. See, and that's the type of thing that scares me. It's like it's one thing to hear, like, divorce rates where it's like, oh, 50, 50% of all marriages end in divorce. Like, oh, that's spooky. But then, like, you see something online where it's like, this person was getting married, and then they found out that this happened, and it's been happening. And they're like, oh, shit. Like, people are shady. People are scandalous out here. Exactly. Like, how can you really, uh, who, who <laughs> you can trust? you really trust? Yeah, exactly. Shit. It's sketch, bro. Yeah. Back in the day, people get shot for that. You come home in the old Western times, bro. <laughs> you, you get a buck shot to the chest. <laughs> people get shot for a lot of things back then. Facts, dude. Those are the good <laughs> days, man. Hey, you kidding fuck me? You. Were you trying to make a bigger great again? <laughs> I would have, see you had to bring race into it, bro. I'm just, I'm just thinking race of Wild a, West. Hey, you sound like my plains. friend Nick. He's like, you bring race into everything. I'm like, race is in everything. Yeah, well, that's why when you said the only reason I don't like Dr. Phil is because he's white. I didn't. You what, said that. Yeah, well, you. I knew you were. I thinking like it. Dr. Phil. Mm-hmm. He just made Catch Me Outside uh-huh. famous. You would like him more if he was black. Don't of lie. Of course. You, you got Steve Harvey already. So you know what the crazy thing is? Huh. Black people can't be racist. That nah. <laughs> black people can't be racist how bro. is that true whatsoever we've never had the systematic tools okay here you go dropping uh, wikipedia what you doing bro oppress another race racism is an oppression 
systematically oppress another race. Racism is being like, I don't like Ra- this. Black people are prejudiced. We prejudge people. We judge people. We can't, we, we can't oppress another race. But racism isn't just oppression of another race. Racism but that's a big having, part of it. Racism is like... Ra- I mean, when you're racist, right? Yeah. You're, you're speaking to things that make this person a bad person. You're pointing out things that these people do. Mm-hmm. As, and it's so they why can't. They, so they can't progress. I, I would say. I think I personally. I'm, I have. We'll look up the definition in a second. But I think racism is just saying like, "Hey, this race is fucking garbage, and I fucking hate them." I think that's what racism is. I don't think it's necessarily going out of the way to be like, "I'm gonna make sure that these people aren't succeeding." I think it's more of just like. I think that's being racist, though. Think about well, it. It is. It is being racist, but I don't think that's like. That's the, the, That's the action of it. I think I, that's being. That's when you're actually, like, you can say you like girls, but until you have sex with a chick, are you, do you actually like girls? Yeah. Yeah, you do. I remember. Yeah. That was, too, <laughs> that was a stupid comparison. <laughs> that was a stupid comparison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, t- type in the definition real quick. I just want to see it. Discrimination or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on belief that one's own race is superior. Exactly. <laughs> you gonna say exactly say, regardless? No, but I I would say I'm I'm partially right. I'd say towards white people can't be racist. That's what I would say. I would say we've never had the tools to systematically oppress another race. Okay. Ever. So what what? We weren't superior to any other race, so we can't put them down. Well, see you you see what I'm saying? So that's what my that's what my I would say that's what we can only be prejudiced. We can't be racist. Because every other race has some tools. You know what I'm saying? Like they have their own community or they have money or they're able to get, you know, certain things that it's harder for black people to get, I would say. Well, I'll tell you right now, if I went to Oakland Uh and I tried to get some weed, it'd be a lot easier for. No, it depends on where you're going. If you're trying to go buy it from the corner, which is which which is kind of prehistoric now. Why would you not just go to a weed club? Oh, that's true. Well, before, you know what I'm saying. Before it was legalized. You think you would get robbed? Well, no. He's saying like it, it, there's no nothing that uh, uh, people of color have uh, an advantage of getting something over other races. You're talking about buying illegal yeah. products. <laughs> you're talking about buy- yeah, bro. Yeah, you're talking about committing crime. There's a reason they call it the black market, bro. It's, it, <laughs> it's easy for y'all, man. They go oh, look. Man. They go think I'm an undercover cop, bro. Exactly. They you go get your ass shot. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. But see, exactly. Right there. <laughs> we can only buy weed from other black people. <laughs> nah, you could get it from. If anything, a white person would be excited, bro. Be like, oh wow. <laughs> I got a black. Customer. This means I'm a real drug dealer now, oh, right? Shit. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> oh man. Bro, we should just start a podcast called The Racist Podcast and just only talk, talk about, about racist, racist things. Oh, my God. We would be hated. Bro, we'd be infamous. Keyword, famous. We'd be in I want to start uh, interviewing homeless people. Do it. I think homeless people just, you know, I like, I don't know why. I just got, I just, I think homeless people are the most interesting people. I think they're the only people that are fully free. You can't even say that with a straight face, bro. <laughs> no, but like really, like they're they have no obligations whatsoever. The only obligation is to eating l- to survive. It's eating is to live but that's another ev- but day. But that's everyone's obligation, though. Yeah, but it's that's not my obligation. I know I'm gonna live. I know I'm gonna survive. But they know they're gonna live too. Like a lot of homeless, like you're not just gonna die. I think a lot of homeless people kind of have the idea in their mind that like if they were to die, it's like oh well. Probably. I mean, everyone should have that. If you die, there's nothing you can do about it. It's oh well, right? You're done. Well, it's easier oh, to like prevent. No care type. Yeah, exactly. People are gonna care for two weeks if you die, then it's fucking over with. Your family might care a little bit. Zero weeks. Yeah, for real, homeless people ain't got no one. Once you die, right? Motherfuckers gonna freak out. Don't get me wrong, but give them three years, and it's not gonna matter that much. That's facts. I'm sorry. It's just the truth, bro. I've had a lot of friends die. You know and, then, and then after like a month, you're like, ah. Oh. No, I care. I care that they're dead. I still think about them. 
know what I'm saying? I wish they had YouTube up there so they could watch my podcast and shit like that. Like, <laughs> you think kidding. about the views, bro. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I'm joking. I just want them to see that I'm I'm doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, but at the same time, it's like it kind of mm-hmm. fades fades down a little bit. Yeah, no, for sure. Well, in a lot of cultures, so, they but, celebrate death. It, well, and then they get over it, and then someone else dies, and they celebrate that death, yeah. and they forget about your death. It's like a holiday. But homeless people are free. They literally can do whatever the fuck they want to do every single day. See, I think the only person who's truly free is Kanye. No. He's hated by his own race. He doesn't care, though. Because he's Of course free. he cares. He speaks. He no, has no he filter, cares. bro. He cares big time. Freedom. He cares big time. He doesn't care. That motherfucker gives a he lot of fucks. Care. He the only, re- the only reason he cares is when people, I feel like, uh, misunderstand what he's trying to say. Look, he cares so much about what he looks like that he was thinking about getting liposuction. You know what well, I'm saying? saying he admitted not, it. That's not necessarily being free to like care about how you look. If you're free, you don't give a shit. That's why homeless people don't give a fuck. You see why he tries to make his clothes look like homeless people's clothes? Because he doesn't, he doesn't care. Exactly. And homeless people don't care either. So who really free? <laughs> Kanye. Because he's got all the <laughs> money in the bite, world. He's trying to copy off homeless people. He's got all the money, bro. He's not, he's not tripping and he doesn't care about... He says whatever he wants. Can you imagine how free you would feel if you could say off top whatever you want without having to he sit there? He doesn't say whatever he wants. Oh, he does no. for sure. He says not anymore. Is a choice, not bro. anymore. Well, he just doesn't put it all over Twitter, and the media doesn't care because no one. It's not popping off. I think Kanye is a musical genius. I think intellectually, he misses. Like he speak. Like I do this shit too. Like I say some shit and I like can't even get out my whole meaning. So it's like, where are you going with this? You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like, like the slave, like the slavery was a choice thing. Mm-hmm. He obviously meant so much more, yeah. than what he was able to articulate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's his problem, or that's where he's at. But I don't think he's free at all. Like he's in a record label for the rest of his life. He has like a lifetime contract that he can never get out of. With Jay Z, right? I don't think it's with Jay. It, it might be partnered with Jay Z, but there's some type of shit in his contract where he, like, has to release music, or he like can't. Get out of this contract. Well, so I guess when I think of freedom, I just think of like you can go wherever you want. Not even eat wherever you want. I think I think of freedom as like being able to like be and say whatever the fuck you want, want without having to sit here and like filter it. You know what I mean? But as, then as liberating. He has kids, bro. He has a wife. He doesn't he, care, bro. He said he, he he wanted to fuck his wife's sisters, bro, on a song. Bro, if your sisters were Kylie Jenner and fucking all these other Kardashians, you wouldn't want to fuck them either? Well, I mean, I would, but I wouldn't necessarily put it on blast across a, a song that my wife could hear. Like, I'm not going to go up to my wife but, and be like, I really want to have sex with your sisters. He's in the attention business, though. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, though. People only cared about him. And now there's bigger things like school shootings for the media to care about. If, something, if Kanye did something right now, you probably wouldn't hear about it because there's a lot of other shit going on. You probably would. It would be like a, a day story and it'd fall off. And then people would be back to the we school gotta shooting shit. You got to understand, bro. His, he's, he's with the f- most famous family in show business right now. And entertainment. What they can lit- If they took shits on their porch right now, it, that's what would be the hottest name. Everyone would talk about, did you just see Kylie Jenner take a shit on her fucking front porch? Anyone would say that if you put it on YouTube, bro. I'm sure there's people doing it right now. Yeah, well, someone's going to hear this and be like, that's a good way to get famous. And it then is. Take a shit and if you like, eat a bowl of shit, you will be famous by tomorrow. Facts. Everyone facts. will repost you. Everybody want to be famous, you but no one wants girls, to eat a bowl of shit. shit. <laughs> two girls, one cup? Yeah. You remember that? That was my favorite video. <laughs> can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I was about to say, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't being real. Right? <laughs> you remember trying to beat it and you're just like, oh. Oh, God, bro. Oh, yeah, that was disgusting. There was a lot of videos like that back in the day. That's when the internet really started to pop off. I was thinking about this the other day. Is like I remember not being able to access the internet on my phone. I remember it like you used to try to pull it up on your flip phone, and it'd be a super messed up looking document. Hella slow. Hella slow. You really couldn't get anywhere. Yeah. The most thing you could do was like maybe find a picture or something like that, but it was all messed up, and the code was said error all over. I think it was oh, 2006, maybe 2005. I got a a uh, MySpace. Hmm. I didn't do the AIM shit. No, I used to love AIM, bro. I missed the whole AIM wave. I missed it. People say that was like, what was your name on AIM? 
uh, I had like four different accounts. Oh shit! One of them was uh, <laughs> you had a burner account. One huh? of them was T Fish. One of them was like King Savage or something like that. <laughs> something crazy. One was like Monkey Boy. Whole bunch of random shit, bro. My my little infos uh, used to my little bios had some dope little quotes in there. Some cool little uh, characters and whatnot. <laughs> Fire, bro. I used to post some cool shit on Facebook. Yeah. That was ex- on MySpace? Ins- insp- nah, Facebook, bro. I was like, you know, say some inspirational shit. Get all the likes. That was like super cool to me. Bro, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy how this shit goes in waves, right? I know, right? <laughs> There's I know. always something new. Exactly. Instagram's going to fall off. I guess they tested that no like feature on Instagram in Australia. I can't wait it's for like it. It's like live. Yeah, I, I wouldn't care less, bro. As long as I can see like how my engagement is doing in terms of like so I can run a business. Yeah. I don't care if like it says like a thousand likes, a hundred likes, whatever. I just think it evens the playing field. Yeah. Well, if you're actually funny, I'm not going to think you're funny because. Just because it has hella likes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it actually has to be funny. Exactly. You know, especially if they have the algor- algorithm where you can see what the engagement's like. Exactly. Then it's like you know what's up. Yeah. Like You know if you're funny, you're funny. Well, then like all these, like I feel like it'll kill off the like Instagram thoughts too. Huh? Because like then it kind of like the business, because where that's the tricky part. Because then how can influencers get paid? How as you as an influencer, how can like I guess you could send your engagement to a business, say like, hey, look, here's my engagement. Check it out. People are watching. You might not be able to tell people are watching, but people are watching. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be harder to prove it. it exactly. Because then you could Photoshop it and shit. You'd have to have a meeting where you like pull it up on your iPhone and like show it to them in person. Well, I mean, well, if you're an Instagram influencer, right? It's like, well, I mean, shit, if you're making six figures, you're, I mean, you're chilling. I'm, I'm just saying like people try to make money so they can retire with that company or not make people have set jobs so they can retire with that company and they can get retirement and shit mm-hmm. like that. Right. Like the normal nine to five business yeah. type person. If you're an influencer, when does that money stop? Right? You're not getting... Well, I'm sure a lot of these people aren't getting royalties, like, forever. Nah, you get, like, paid, like, a flat fee, I'm pretty Straight sure. Straight up. Yeah. It's like, so I'll it's pay like, you a thousand bucks to post this, and the company makes, like, 20000 and you don't see any of it. Yeah. Hmm. But, I mean, if you can build it into a bigger business than that and, like, really start to have ad revenues, because, like, then you, like, start... Because, like, the real smart Instagram influencers will, like, move from Instagram to YouTube. Yeah. Where you can consistently get paid for views instead of like oh one time pay here you go post this versus like hey i'm getting paid for every ad you know everyone's a rapper now too everyone's making music all these influencers are just making a song you ain't make, making money off music i'll tell you that much bro people ain't making shit off music nowadays i got what i got i, I got ten thousand plays on pandora for my first song i put out uh-huh. and uh i got like 14 bucks and that's through Empire and everything. Yeah, I, it might have just it might have just been because Pandora has a weird algorithm set up. Makes sense. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, bro, it's trash. The only way to make music or make money off of music is like to sell merchandise and concerts and shit like that. It's the only way. And if you, I mean, because if you start to put up numbers like <laughs> forty million, <laughs> then like you have so much attention that the bigger people looking for influencers, then you're like a rap influencer, you're like have Migos. You heard of mass appeal. That sounds familiar, yeah. I guess that's like the best distribution company going right now. Really? Yeah, as far as like independent artists. Oh, uh, outside of like labels. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You don't really need a label yeah. anymore. I well, mean, of course, you, everyone wants that like, oh, I signed a deal. Right? Yeah. Like, that's like cool. Yeah. But, I mean, motherfuckers are making a lot of money and they're not signing anyone. Chance Rapper, like people like that. Well, because they make their own label. You need a label, but if you're not going to sign well, to a label. you need a brand. You need to make your own, yeah. But I'm saying, like, you know, I mean, you don't have to sign to, like, Sony or, like. Yeah. Well, it's just easier. It's a lot easier because then you, like. Cause Everything's it, handed cause to like, you. Because, like, I have a distribution deal, uh-huh. but not, like, a label deal where it's, like, they like, hey, Trav, we're going to give you 100K every year to keep amazing, making music for five years. Like, that would be, like, a deal. Yeah, like, you got to drop these. You got to yeah four albums yeah and we're know, give on you our one. record label yeah, exactly. but we have to approve all the songs exactly and, and if we don't like it you, you have don't to make this much back. money you have to pay us back exactly that fucking sucks yeah yeah oh yeah 360 deal facts bro that's how they get you that was my my game plan ever since I was like you know what fuck it I'm gonna make music I was like I'm never gonna sign 
I'm gonna make my own label, and then it just kind of turned into Row Street, mm-hmm. which is kind of dope. Music is tricky though. Same as acting, bro. I think if you like something and you're doing it, you know yeah. what I mean. Well, and that's the thing. I don't care. I don't care if I n- ever make a dime off music. It's as fun. long as I'm making dope songs that I enjoy and I like to listen to. Yeah. Cool. I can easily make money other ways. Right? I'm not in the music for the money. I'm in it because it's fun. So I mean, of course, you know, making a lot of money from it will be cool. Oh but, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I, I'll be thinking about that too. Like Anthony Bourdain <laughs> killed himself. I try to think about how great my life is compared to that motherfucker's life. Like, shit, my life is, you know, pretty great. You know, I, I honestly think about that a lot, how great my life is. Yeah. I, I'm actually really thankful for it because, yeah. like, I got some good friends, great company, good girlfriend. I get to travel. You know what I'm saying? I get to eat good food. I have a warm bed to sleep in every night. Yep. Uh, when I look in the mirror, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm happy when I look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I'm telling you. Well, and that's the thing though. M- with money, more problems though, because if you think about it, if you start to get more money, you're gonna kind of naturally get more attention, right? Yeah. So you kind of naturally get more famous. The more eyes watching you, the more people want to take you down by being like, "Oh, he sent me a dick picture back in the," you know what I mean? Do people ever go like? Sometimes when people talk to me about our podcast, I do get I feel weird about it sometimes. It's aw- it's strange, huh? It is. It's strange because like, you're like, oh. I had someone come up the other day. I had no idea who they were. I was at the gym, and he like kind of like gave me a double take, and then I was like, "Hey, I like the shit you're doing, bro. Keep it up." I was like, "Oh, thank you, bro." He's like, "Oh yeah, the podcast and music. I love it, bro." I was like, "Oh, thank you." Right. I had no idea who he was. It's, was it's like, a little. Like, oh, it's strange, shit. right? It yeah. is strange. So imagine being like a fucking big time artist all the time, bro. Everyone's just like, "Hey, can I get a picture?" Hey, that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be weird. The first time someone comes up to you and be like, "Hey, can I get a picture with you?" And you don't know who they are. Like, you're uh, like, oh, uh, where is this going to be posted? Yeah, like, what? <laughs> Are you a serial killer? Are you going, what's going on? Yeah. That's going to be strange. Yeah. Then it gets quiet without that AC going, man. <laughs> I know. I just noticed that. I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> it's out now. Yeah. So, that white noise was nice. Yeah, it's relaxing. It really was. If someone ever cheated on you, would you, uh, would you get back with them? No. Hell no. Once the, that trust is broken, bro, you gonna, if you get back with them, you're going to be living in a state of, like, constant questioning mm-hmm. and constant, like, oh. You're never going to trust them. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, like, that's, like, worse than torture for me, bro. Because I, my, I, my mind is always running, man. That's one of my problems is I'm always thinking either about business or my next moves. Um, so it's, like, always. every. So, like, if someone cheated on me, like, my mind will be going crazy. Thinking about what they're doing. Yeah, every time they left the house, I'd be like, they probably, that bitch probably cheating again. You know Shit. Because I mean? you never know. Now, it's so easy. If you think about it, it's really fucking easy to cheat on someone. As horrible as that sounds, like, it'd be really easy to cheat on someone. It's really easy to lie to someone. Like, in the, not saying I practice lying, but, like, back in the day, I used to be a really good liar. <laughs> and it's just easy to kind of tell that story and, like, yeah. build on it. Yeah. It wouldn't be hard to cheat at all. It's like, oh, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm be gone for a little bit. I just think if I really like somebody, it's hard for me to. Lie. I mean, I can lie for sure, mm-hmm. but it's more like, I believe in karma so much. Yeah, fact. Well, that's me now too. It's karma. like something's gonna happen, bro. Yeah. Like, and then guilt too, because I mean, the more you lie, the more you have to keep up with. Because if you tell a, the truth, you never have to think twice about what you say. Because mm-hmm. it's like, oh yeah, well, I remember what happened, so that's what happened. Instead of like remembering what happened and then remembering what you told someone that happened, so you have to say that. Unless you get really drunk, then you don't know what the fuck happened. That's true. Like, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it, it's uh, cheat. Yeah, there's there's too much guilt. I feel like if I was to ever cheat, I can't cheat. There's mm-hmm. no way because I would have way too much guilt, and it would just like slowly eat away at you inside. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. I'm cool, <laughs> bro. I'm cool. He's off. He, he's off the cheating. Facts, bro. If I, if, if I even start to think about like cheating or like thinking like, oh, I'm gonna try to cheat, I'm just gonna break up with that person, cause like I don't want to have to live with that. I ain't got time to fucking sit there and suffer. Would you ever have an open relationship? I don't know. I'm too. I'm too uh, selfish. Yeah. If I have something, I want to be the only one that has it. You know what I mean? It's mm. when it comes to like another person, yeah, like a significant other. It's like if I'm with a chick, like it's like nah, what? I think I could, uh, I could be open. 
but she open couldn't be open. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, you mean, I could do it. Like, I could, I could for sure, like, have a girl and hook up other girls. But I wouldn't want her to do it. And if she doesn't want me to do it, then it's like, all right, I can't do it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Of course, you have to be fair. But Fuck being fair, bro. Hey, man, life's fair. Poly- polyamorous <laughs> relationships or whatever. Bro, that's those crazy. are crazy. Yeah, that's how it used to be back in the day in the Greek world. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you got to think about it. We're animals, right? We're, yeah. You agree. That's how wolves get it on. There's, I mean, of course, there's some animals in the wild that do this, but it's like, most of them have multiple partners, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you're trying to be the dominant male. You're trying to reproduce. It's like, when did it become a thing for our society to be like, oh, you have to be with one person and one person only? I think when God got into the equation. Religion? Yeah, religion. Religion, not God, sorry. Religion. Mm-hmm. Once once religion became a topic, I feel like it was kind of like, you do not covet your neighbor's wife and, like, the whole idea of marriage in general. Do you think a motherfucker made that happen? So he could have more chicks. He's like kind of being like spiteful towards all the other dudes. Like, oh, you want her too? Well, in the Bible, it says you yeah. can only have one. Yeah. So you can only have one. And I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. Yeah. But I wouldn't doubt it, man. <laughs> People are crazy like that. A lot, of, a lot of things happen in this world just because someone's trying to protect something that they want or want to be the only ones to have. Mm-hmm. Which is fucked up. Like, there's a lot of money money moves being made behind the scenes where it's, like, things are being done just to perpetuate something that someone has. Yeah. It's fucked up. Hey, I mean, you got to stay at the top, man. You know, the rich get richer. Facts. So, I think, you know, whatever you can do to box out your competition. That's true. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start making hella blogs and blackballing <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, see what else is going on in the world? Amazon Fire, bro. Did you notice everyone just stopped talking about it? Oh, yeah. Did it stop? It's still going, huh? I think it's still burning. If it's still burning, it has to be like almost completely burnt at this point. No. It no. Be, it can't be that bad. <laughs> bro, there's probably so much shit. Let's talk about some conspiracies, bro. I bet there's so many c- creatures and monsters inside the Amazon forest, bro. There was a, someone was talking about a giant sloth the other day um a giant sloth yeah there's like a giant sloth it's still if amazon fire is still going question mark um i'm gonna pull up a picture though but like a sloth but like a giant sloth like a pre it used to exist like a prehistoric sloth but it was like massive like the size of an elephant oh yeah bro terrifying you kidding me bro i'd be out of there so fast no thank you damn there's a giant jellyfish it was like six foot tall Really? Yeah. I thought that was amazing. Probably eats you, bro. Imagine getting stung by that motherfucker. Bro, there's some crazy things out there, bro. I believe in, uh, I bet there's a Bigfoot creeping around. I wonder how much of the actual, like, l- how much land has been. Ground sloth, that's not real. Whoa. I don't want the real thing. I want the prehistoric. Damn, no way. Yeah, bro. Five ton. Inhabited Costa Rica. That's crazy, bro. I'd be scared. Even though I think they only eat leaves. I just think it's crazy that shit like that actually existed. And you know, some people think dinosaurs are a conspiracy. Those are the type of people I don't want to talk to, bro. <laughs> I, I actually want to talk to people like that. Really? It's like, bro, like... What made you come to this conclusion? Like yeah. the flat Earth shit, I wanted to believe it so bad, bro. Yeah, I want. I don't think I've ever wanted to believe anything so so bad. <laughs> like I wanted to believe the Earth was flat, and I watched the documentary, and I'm like, these <laughs> fucking people, bro, they're idiots. They are idiots. Oh yeah, easily. Like, and whenever like they would try to prove that the Earth is, Earth was flat, they would. Be like a discrepancy in like their numbers. They're like, huh, it's off. Like maybe our equipment's broken. Yeah. It's like, and then know, they buy the best piece of equipment and it's still off. I'm like, ah, oh, well, maybe this one's off too. It's like, yeah. Just fucking suck it up. Well, that's like, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. <laughs> what was I gonna find? The aliens, aliens and shit. I hella believe. Like there was that documentary with Bob Lazar about the aliens in Area Fifty One. 
I when is wa- that I happening? Haven't watched it. Actually, isn't that raid supposed to happen pretty soon? They're not gonna raid. Aren't we storming, bro? I already got my ticket, dog. Man, I'm going out there with. I'm my, gonna go to your funeral. I'm going there yeah, with. Actually, that. y'all don't even go half funerals because with y'all are enemies of the state. They gonna snipe y'all from distance. Yeah. They about to nuke y'all ass. Area 51 raid. I just think it's crazy that some shit like that is even real. Like we actually have an Area 51. Yeah, bro. It's going too far. What do you mean? Like everything is too big. Like whatever they're doing, it's already blown out of proportion. You can't do anything to stop it. But my thing is right. Like the people that work there have families. You have like you're telling me you, they don't fucking have conversations about what the fuck's going on there. Nah, bro. You got. You need to watch that documentary. Bro, you do, bro. No one's able. Listen, bro. If I did something, I jumped off a rock in Hawaii, okay, uh-huh. and I wasn't supposed to jump off of it. You think I'm able to keep? To, there's no way people are able to keep shit secret, bro, bro. But let's put it this way: If I'm like, hey, me and my boys, I got 300 boys who are military trained with snipers and all the ammo and guns in the world, and we know how to kill and interrogate and kidnap people. We want to hire you for this position. But if you tell people about the stuff we're doing, we're coming for you. Would you not sit there at the dinner table? Like, How is work? Uh, Bro, I'm one uh, of the most badass 300 motherfuckers <laughs> in the world. I know how to kill motherfuckers, too. You telling me not to do something. Okay, I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to tell my bitch when she's sucking my dick what's, what's well, going on. Well, yeah, and then what's not going to... Then that's the thing. She tells someone, and then they tell someone. Cause like you and that's how everything happens in the world. Exactly. But so the only person to have ever told anyone was that Bob Lazar guy who put out the documentary and they shot at his car multiple times and were like trying to kill him and then released document. They, they found out his wife was cheating and then told him and then like all this crazy shit because they tap your phones when you work at like a place of Area 51, you're, all your phones are tapped. They make you sign documents that say like, hey, like we're going to tap your phones. Any conversation that happens in your house, we're going to hear it like we're watching you. That's the thing. Yeah. So like you can't like you can't you can't run from them. Hey, bro, it's the government, bro. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Ah, oh, shit. There's the other people in the room listening to us right now, bro. Hey, I just think it's crazy when motherfuckers get caught, right? Like by U.S. marshals and shit. Uh huh. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, there's a lot of places you can go, but I, of course, like you're going to get caught eventually. But yeah. it's just like. If I was in Montana, like South Dakota, some random ass state, that's probably where most people go. Like the random ass places that people don't think they'll be caught. Yeah. Well, I think the best way to, if I was to like run away tomorrow, what I would do was like turn off all my electronic equipment, go to the store with cash, buy a map, and then just navigate off an old school map. I would dye my hair. I'd probably, you know what I'm saying, be a T. What, what, Alpha, I'll be an alphabet person. Uh, a T? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was like, Mr. T? When he nah, dies nigga, I'll be a T. <laughs> I'm dressed like a female. <laughs> telling you, bro, I'm oh, not okay. trying to go to jail. For real, bro. They'd be after you, too. But yeah, bro, aliens are real. Bigfoot's real. Everything's real, man. Mega sharks and hella shit. Megalodons, bro. That was Megalodon. my favorite. I know. I was like, whoa. Huge, bro. I used to research that thing all the time. That's super cool. What's dope to me is like I look at the mountains sometimes and I'm like, fuck, like how high they are. That shit's in the ocean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's mountains and shit well, the underwater. Second, the, the biggest or the second biggest mountain in the world is underwater. Really? Yeah. I don't know. And I don't think uh, Mount Everest is technically the biggest. I think it's there's one bigger underwater that. that's bigger. Shit. Yeah, bro. So you can imagine there's some crazy shit. Living in there, on there. Yeah, bro. Damn. And how much stuff has been dumped in the middle of the ocean? Because I. (laughs) That's the fucked up part. I think about a lot of things. (laughs) I wish we could just burn it, but I mean, of course, that's going to fuck up the atmosphere. Exactly. Wait, 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 what? What do you mean? If we could burn all the trash. Oh. (laughs) They meant burn the ocean. I was like, what are you talking about? No, no, no. Come on, bro. (laughs) I ain't that high right now. But I mean, oh, uh, all the water would evaporate. <laughs> then we could eat all the fish and, and we have could food forever. Under we could boil everything, and we have <gasps> boiled fish and boiled Bro. squid. Giant squids. Giant squids are dope. I love giant squids. I think that shit's amazing. Super have you cool. seen a squid eat some shit? Like a whale. Like other fish and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Wrap around it and like, 
they they made some. I mean, they found some crazy squid. Bro, well, they found crazy. Uh, the giant squid's like thirty feet long. Oh my god! It eats whales, bro. They find what? Yeah, you didn't know that. Fuck no. Yeah, bro. Giant squids eat whales, bro. They find whales all the time with like giant like marks on them from like being attacked by giant squids. Wow. That's like where they the like the myth of the kraken. That's where the myth came from. Could you imagine the blue whale not being the biggest thing? Bro, that's terrifying. Versus sperm whales. You know? I saw a video of a fucking whale jumping out of the ocean, right? Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, that's hella cool. And you're like, yeah, and a blue whale's two times the size. I'm like, whoa. <gasps> Is this real? This can't be real, bro. No, it's not real. That's a, just a visual. But it happens, bro. Do giant squid eat whales? The only known predators of adult giant squid are sperm whales, but pilot whales also. That's not what I wanted. And I've seen uh, a couple videos lately of fucking killer whales uh, not attacking people in the wild. Not in the wild. Not attacking or attacking? Not attacking. Like, they don't attack humans. Really? Yeah. I think that's pretty dope. We have to, bro. Giant squids are many though, bro. That's why the ocean freaks me out, bro. Could you imagine scuba diving and then like just seeing a giant squid? Yes, I, I would, would have a heart attack. I would love it. I would have a fucking. I think heart I would be more scared of a great white or a killer whale than a giant squid. I don't think giant squids like dark meat. <laughs> well, I don't know. If I'm not like scared of my life. I think I would just be like so shocked, and my brain would just like not be able to comprehend. Let me pull up. This video is trash. Let me pull up uh, a picture. I'm sure there's like a representation of how big one is. Yeah, bro. See, look. Look at that thing. That's real. That's a real. Have you tasted squid before? Yeah, it's hella good. I would fry that bitch up real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the ocean is sketch, bro. Well, that's like when in Oregon, like Oregon is where Bigfoot's from, I guess, or something like that. Because there was hella shirts up there that you could buy, like tourist shirts that's like searching for Bigfoot and shit like that. Oh, really? Yeah. But like if you go up there and like look at the trees, you can see why people would think that because it's like. There was a whole fucking TV show on Bigfoot. Oh, there's movies. Like there's chasing TV Bigfoot. shows. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm like, this shit's crazy. It's on Discovery Channel and shit. 13 meters. Damn. So that's like almost like seven times as big as a human. So that means if I'm like an average human height, right? Let's say like, what's the average human height? Like five, six? We'll say, we'll say six feet just to make the math easy. Mm-hmm. So let's say six times seven. That's 42. 42 feet long. Fuck. That's huge. Yeah. No, thanks, man. I went to left. Down. This? Left, right. That? Yeah. That was an alive one. They've yeah, never caught a giant. The only they've only caught one giant squid alive, and I think it died within like the first hour of captivity. No way. Yeah, they've never caught one alive. Uh. Uh-uh. Shit. Well, I mean, what are they trying to do? Put it in an aquarium? I think so, or just study it because they can't like they live so deep. Because that's like sperm whales when they migrate, they go like hella deep underwater, and that's where they migrate. They don't like migrate near the surface. They go hella deep, and that's where the giant squids live. So that's why oh, they that's always what like they eat. Yeah. Shit. So you can imagine if a giant squid is real. What else is under there? Yeah. Dude, their eyes have to be so good, bro. Facts. It's so dark. That's nuts that something can see in the dark like that. Man. The world's a crazy place, man. But yeah, Google how much of land is discovered. How much of land? Yeah. Well, the Amazon alone. Let's see. Not anymore. That's why I bet someone got hella high. I was like, I wonder what's in the Amazon. Let's find that gold and just decided to burn it down. <laughs> they decided to burn it. I think there's a laser from space. They have a satellite that shoots fucking that can make start fires. Oh, uh, that'd be probably pretty easy, honestly, if you had a big magnifying glass. And they just fucking start fires. They start yeah. wildfires. Yeah. I would use that to attack my enemies. <laughs> what do you think about 9-11? That just passed. Um, do you think, like, we, our government did that? Or do you think that was some real terrorist shit? Do you think it was an insurance job? Like, what's your viewpoint on it? I know it just passed. I th- I'm, like, 
I think it could, I think it could have easily been an inside job. I just think it's weird the motherfucker like did some insurance shit before it happened. Well, there's a lot of things. Like they caught like five white people in a van headed to the Pentagon to blow up the Pentagon, but I think they like stopped the bombing and then it didn't go on the news because it wasn't it wasn't terrorist people, it was like white people. The and the real terrorists. White people. I'm going to make a movie called White People. <laughs> oh, shit. 65% of the Earth. Okay, that's the Earth. It's though. unexplored. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, these underwater ecosystems of the present still, we only have 5% mapped out of the world's sea. 5% of the world's seafloor in any detail, excluding dry land. That leaves about 65% of the Earth un- unexplored. Holy crap. Earth's land. Go to land right there. Up. Where? Where? Oh, here. The top one. 70% of Earth's surface. Huh. Excluding dry land. It's crazy. Yeah, that's terrifying. No, thank you. What's one thing, like, if it came out tomorrow that, like, some supernatural thing existed, what would you want it to be? Like, would you want, like, the, oh, they discovered a giant shark, or, oh, they discovered aliens, huh. here's proof, or... That there's other humans like us out there somewhere. That'd be tight. I just want to know that other people think like us, kind of have our thought process. Well, I think it'd be super tight if there was just like another world with people like, exi- like it wasn't exactly like us. But they had like three eyes, or like eight fingers. Or- Not even that. They still looked like us, but it was just like a different world. It was, it was Earth, uh, but like Earth 2, where like they were at the same level of like we're we would, at. But we would get a- into a war with them, bro. You think? I know we would. Especially Problem. with fucking... Trump, bro. Well, we like, need the natural resources. They don't want to wear one of my MAGA hats. <laughs> shit happens. They don't follow me on Twitter. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Crazy. shit. We've been, it's an hour and 30. You want to cut it? I'm down. All right. For all I know, podcast. Yes, sir. Roddy Raw. Travis Fisher. Sheesh.